All right, hi everybody. Bonk on I'm 22. Now I'm picking my nose. Anyway, some chapter reviews to do. 1,000. Will have, yes, it shall have a discussion video about when I cannot say, maybe tomorrow, because I got a lot on my plate. There's also, I've been tagged again, <sighs> this time by Zero Sama on a tag that Taki did. I will try to do that tomorrow, along with this discussion video, which. I'm not going to go into details. But this is going to be the least review. Let's talk about something really good. Well, semi good. Um, Pretty much, this chapter, I mean, really, all that happened in this chapter was Aizen is completely released. He, um... I should mention, there was this funny, funny comment on Manga Stream, and this guy basically wrote a rap of Aizen and Kuraku with the lyrics based on, loosely based on, French Prince of Bel-Air. I was like, yo, I should have my co-worker, he was laughing, that was funny. I was, I was dying. That was that was too much. Whoever wrote that on Monger Street, fucking amazing. Anyway, yeah, really not much happened. And this was chapter six hundred eighteen, um, the Dark Arm. Now, basically, there are two halves of this chapter. There's the uh, the stuff with Eisen, and then there's Bach. Now, what we get with Eisen in this chapter is Kuraku. We hit this one scene, and I. I really like whoa. The guys that were gonna put Eisen in his chair, supposedly to help him get the other two, you know, locks out. They didn't even touch him. They just go went were about to touch him and go near him. Their fingers got blown off. That is how powerful his Ryatsu is. He didn't even touch them. They just went near him. And his hand and their hands get blown off. Un fucking believable. Now that, that and, and basically, you know, Kuraku's basically saying how, you know, fresh air on the soul society, so on and so forth. You know, um to to, you know so on and so forth. Uh, and basically, the way Karaku was, 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 was doing this was, he didn't even tell Aizen, oh, he wants your help to defeat Bach. No. He says, oh, would you like some fresh air in Soul Society? So, and basically, you know, he's, you know, he tells him that, so on and so forth. Um, and... That that's based on the whole story there, and um, and he basically makes a comment Eisen about how you mean the Soul Society is in shambles by Bach, you know, and this whole meeting kind of you know was interesting to a certain extent I found, um. And the way Eisen's approaching this, I have to say, he kind of, I, I don't know, he, his attitude towards it is, he's saying he's basically saying, you mean the heir of the very same soul society that was trashed by Bach. And then we get Bach, and it's called the Dark Arm, and that's when we get the whole thing between Ichigo and Bach. Now, I notice, like, a few people, I guess in the J room or elsewhere, are suggesting that 
you know, Ichigo can defeat Bach, he gets potential stronger, da -da 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 -da. As of right now, this is what I will say about Bach. Compared to Aizen, I'm sorry, Bach is inferior. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. Hate to say it. But it's true. I'm sorry. I really am. I, don't, I would like to up, I would like to appreciate and support Bach. But the fact of the matter is this. As OP as he is. As, as of the things he has done. Aizen. This will remain one of the biggest feats in Bleach. For me. For as far as Aizen is concerned. He took on Ichigo and all of the captains in the 13 court guard squads at the same time. At the same time. Bach, listen, there's no way in God's green earth you can beat with that. There's just no way. I just don't see it. Now, they have a conversation, each of you and Bach, about, you know, you know, Bach's, Bach's whole thing with Ichigo, he's saying, oh, you have Quincy blood in you, and you shouldn't be, be opposing me. It's like, just because he's got Quincy blood doesn't mean he's going to just do what you say. I mean, it's just so ludicrous. But pretty much, you know, Bach at the end of the chapter tells Ichigo, it, these eyes will decide, you know, kind of the thing there. And what ends up happening is Ichigo interferes with Bach. You know, Ichigo puts like a sticky barrier around the Soul King. So the right hand essentially is repairing the Soul King. Or just going around him and stuff. But... Yeah, so basically, in other words, it's his eyes that are going to decide, you know, what's going to happen, as far as he's concerned. And this chapter, I, I will say this, the real main focus for this chapter, I found, was Aizen. Again, yes, Aizen. I have to say, it was Aizen. Because, Bach, you know, let's be honest here. Like, alright, man. You're trying to destroy the Soul Society, you wanted to kill the Soul King... Fine. That's all good and well. Um, I want to bring back to things that they were before. Okay. You know, it's... Uh, I, I, For some reason, Bach... Don't get me wrong, he's OP as fuck. But like I said, Aizen's the real... Like I said before last week's chapter, he's the real big bad booty daddy. Aizen. He will always remain that. In Bleach. Always. This motherfucker was watching an episode of Bleach, okay? <laughs> he He's like... It is just astronomical. And to be perfectly honest, the only way Bach can fight Aizen, he literally cannot get caught in that illusion. With Aizen Shikai. And by the way, we're supposed to find, finally see Aizen's Bankai. So that's another thing to think about. But I felt, rating-wise, four. Four out of five. Because really, we didn't get much. This is more like, um, Aizen is with, they have continuing the conversation, pretty much. There was really not much to that. And then you have this conversation. It literally was a lot of talking. Talking, fighting, and talking. And loss of limbs. Yo, the fact that those guys were trying to go... You just, just go near him. Not even touching him. And your, your, your limbs fall off. Just you rip off. Like, holy shit, man. But because loud not a lot happened, I'm going to give us four to five. Um... We'll see what happens next week. It should be interesting to see um, what happens. I'm guessing Nison's going to go outside. They're going to release him. <laughs> Get some fresh... Anyway. Um, it should be interesting to see how this goes down. Now, 
if Aizen goes all the way up to the Soul Palace and confronts Spock, this could be one interesting, very intriguing confrontations. Especially if Ichigo's there. Very interesting. But, you know, good chapter, nothing too special, not like last week. Your limb's coming off, getting ripped off. But other than that, 4 out of 5 for this one. Bonkai 922. Aizen is in the house, people. He's not even doing anything, and already he's causing carnage to fodder, fodder, I don't know what you call them, guys in white clothes, one and two, who lost limbs. Let's pray for their safety. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much the story there. Hopefully, yeah, next week we get Dyson and Bach. I, I, I'm definitely looking forward to this. This, this should be one crazy-ass freaking fight. You got a guy who's got multiple eyes, and you got a guy who can fuck with people's heads. With illusions. Let's see what happens. I'll see you guys later. Peace.